All right, let's look at another way libertarians might challenge determinist thinking, the determinist argument. Um, so imagine this. Imagine a friend asks you for a recommendation uh, for a restaurant for them to go to for some very important celebratory moment in their life. It really is important to them that they have a restaurant that's going to be kind of top-notch in every way. Um, so this is a serious recommendation you have to make. There's something riding on this. How many experiences would you have to have with a particular restaurant before you felt confident making a recommendation? And what would the nature of those experiences need to be? So if you went to a, a restaurant on one day, one time, and you had one thing off the menu, and you had one particular server, is that enough experience with the totality of this restaurant to be confident in making a recommendation that this is a place they either should or shouldn't go to? How many experiences would you want to have with this restaurant before you felt really confident making this important recommendation? And what would you want those experiences to be? Okay, and you're probably thinking, well, I'd want to make sure that I went on different days of the week. I want to make sure, because maybe the restaurant's different during on a Wednesday than it is on a Saturday. Um, I want to have a, an experience with some number of servers so that I know I just didn't get the one great server or the one clunky server. I want to order... Uh, multiple things off the menu so that I didn't just happen to pick the the lousy item that nobody likes or happen to pick the best item that everybody likes and everything on the, on the menu isn't quite as good. In other words, I want I don't want to make a generalization about this entire restaurant's uh, quality um, too quickly. I'm going to take my time, gather some evidence, and I want to make sure that that evidence is not only sufficient, in other words, I've got enough experiences, but the things I've had experiences of with this restaurant, they're representative experiences. I've sampled the menu, I've had the different servers, I've gone on different days of the week. I can speak about the totality of this restaurant based on the number and types of experiences I had, and hopefully I will not be making a hasty generalization. So a hasty generalization is a fallacy where we draw a conclusion um, with too little information. So you can imagine this is where a lot of stereotypes come from. Um, we, we, we have to generalize in order to survive. Um, and sometimes we have to generalize really quickly because it's we're in an urgent or emergent emergency situation. But if we're not, we want to make sure that we collect information uh, that's sufficient and representative. And a libertarian is going to look at this premise and they're going to key on that word all. Okay? It is not the case that all of my thoughts, including my, all of my choices, are caused. Okay? And that word all is really important because it's, uh, it's a universal quantifier. And what I mean by that is it leaves no exceptions. Um, and what the libertarian is going to say is if I can find one example of a thought or a choice that wasn't governed by physical laws, that makes one of the important premises of the, the determinist argument false because it takes one example, just one, to prove that premise false. And so the libertarian is going to say, hey determinist, I'm with you that um, some of my behaviors determine. I get it. The advertiser has an impact on me or you know, I go to the doctor, clearly I have reflexes. I, I, you know, these are things that are determined. But I can't accept that all of them are. And the libertarian is going to say, and one of the reasons I can't accept that all of them are is that you haven't ever demonstrated that any of them are, right? You've, you've indicated this correlation between brain activity and thoughts or, and, and choices. So there's a correlation. But the libertarian is going to say, as you know, correlation doesn't necessarily imply causation. And so just because it's true that the events that you have collected out of the physical world that's outside of my thoughts, just because you've collected all of that information doesn't mean that you can draw a conclusion about all things that occur, including the thoughts in my head and my choices. Okay?